Hello students! Welcome to our online class. It's me, Ma'am Jen, and I will be your teacher in Heli 6. To start with our lesson, let's begin with a prayer. Let us put ourselves in the holy presence of the Lord, as we all say, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Father, we thank you for everyone gathered here now. We thank you that you know each one of us by name and have caused us to walk with you. We say that we are dependent on you and our trust is in you completely. As we surrender ourselves with adoration, we welcome you amongst us today and celebrate the gift of life that you lavish upon each one of us. We ask that you would open our ears so that we may hear your voice. Open our minds so that we may receive your eternal wisdom. Open our spirits so that we may know your leading and guidance. And open our hearts so that we may receive your wonderful love. Lord, we thank you for everyone who are present today. We pray that you would give us great inspiration as we share what you have placed in our hearts. We pray that you would fill us with courage and give us your peace. We pray that you will keep us safe and spare us from the threat of the virus. We ask all this in the glorious name of Jesus. Amen. In today's lesson, I'm going to discuss with you Lesson 2, Animal Racing. Animal racing is a popular backyard business as well as means of livelihood of Filipino families. It is one of the most important industries in our country today. Animal racing is taking care of hogs, goats, and cattle. Filipinos should be encouraged to engage in animal racing because of the increasing cost of live and frozen poultry, pork and beef as well as milk and eggs. Another reason is to increase the much needed supply of meat which is rich on source of protein. This will help meet the nutritional needs of children, lactating mothers, and other people deficient in protein-rich food. Many Filipino farmers and businessmen depend upon this industry as a source of livelihood. There are many opportunities that await those who want to engage in livestock raising, whether on a backyard or on a commercial scale. Why do people raise animals? Let us explore the benefits of animal raising. Animal raising has been a huge part of human existence since the beginning of civilization. Humans have used animals for meat, milk, egg, labor, and clothing for thousands of years. Millions of people around the globe take care of live sex every day. Raising animals in the backyard is very beneficial for a family. Benefits of animal raising includes the following. The first one is, can be a source of money and can augment the family's income. Second, it can be a challenging work to do. Third, it can help enhance your knowledge in entrepreneurship. Fourth, it can be a source of food supply for the family. Here are some food supply from the animals. Meat eggs, and milk. For the fifth benefits of animal raising is, it can be a source of organic fertilizer such as animal manure. Animal manure is a good source of fertilizer for vegetables, ornamental plants, and fruit trees. Fifth, it can be a source of organic fertilizer such as animal manure. Animal manure is a good source of fertilizer for vegetables, ornamental, fruits, and fruit trees. 
Lastly, for the benefits of animal raising, it can be a source of leather. Here are some guidelines in livestock business. What is a livestock business? A livestock business is a branch of animal production which offers quick return of investment. The livestock business is made up of different branches. Beginners can select one which will best fit their condition. The following are some guidelines for the beginners to follow. The first one is the capital. It refers to the amount of money to start a project. Starting animal production requires a large amount of money. Land. Land is another guidelines for the beginners to follow. This refers to the physical feature of the land surface, whether it is rolling or sloping, flat or level, and hilly or mountainous. Feeds. Consider the cost of the feeds because 50% to 80% of the total cost of the project goes to feeds. Neighborhood Locate your livestock houses behind residential areas and away from major highways. Ideally, the site must be 500 meters away from residential areas. Marketing It is a very complex work because many people are involved in this phase of farm production. It includes slaughtering, dressing, transporting, holding, and distributing products from the farm to the market. Here are some marketing process. Assembling, grading and standardizing, processing, storing, packaging, financing, transporting, and selling. Labor cost. The size of the project will determine the labor cost. Lastly, for the guidelines of the beginners is farm accounts records. Keeping a record is a vital tool for future planning in animal production. It serves as a guide in determining management problems which have affected the flock and other activities undertaken in the duration of the project. Here are some types of farm records. Assets and liability accounts include owner's equity, receipts and expense accounts, show how cash flows into and out of the farm business, capital account, record the purchases and ownership of durable assets as well as improvement made on farm facilities, also records a depreciation and hence book values of such assets. Livestock raising. Livestock is another classification of farm animals. Livestock raising refers to the production of animals such as hogs, goats, carabao, and cattle. Hogs. Pigs are mammals with stacky bodies, flat snouts that can move independently of their heads, small eyes, and large ears. They are highly intelligent, social animals, and are found all over the world. Pigs are in the Sudei family, which includes 8 genera and 16 species. Among those species are wild boars, warthogs, and pygmy hogs, and domestic pigs. Pig, hog, and boar essentially describe the same animal, but there are some distinctions. A boar is an unscreated male domestic pig, but it also means a wild pig of any gender. A hog often means a domestic pig that weighs more than 120 pounds or 54 kilograms. Pigs are also called swine. What is breed? Breed refers to the distinct characteristics of an animal which are generally transmitted from generation to generation. Guidelines in selecting a hog breed to raise. The first guidelines in selecting a hog breed to raise is select animals that are active and healthy with soft, smooth skin and bright eyes. Choose those with white shoulders and short snouts. The second guidelines in selecting a hog breed to raise is select hogs that have more than 10 teats. 
Animals with more teeth are more productive. For the third guidelines in selecting a hog breed to raise is select hogs that are young and have broad chest. Lastly, for the guidelines in selecting a hog breed to raise, select hogs that have been vaccinated. And now, let us explore the common breeds of hogs recommended for raising. The first common breeds of hogs recommended for raising is Lard type. They have fat wide body conformation. The six breeds of the lard type most commonly raised throughout the world today are Landrace, Large White, Berkshire, Poland China Hampshire, and the Rook Jersey. But only four of these standard hog breeds have been adopted in the Philippines, namely Berkshire, Landrace, Large White, and Poland China. This is how it looks like. The second breeds of hog recommended for raising is Landrace. They are originated from Loa and is very popular in the Philippines. They are solid white in color, with dropping ears and dip, long body with slightly arched back. They have excellent mothering ability and produce large litters. This is how it looks like. The third common breeds of hogs recommended for raising is large white. They originated from England. They are solid white in color and have a deep, long body with a slightly arched back. Their face is slightly dashed out and their ears are erect and inclined forward. They give good quality meat. This is how it looks like. Another common breeds of hogs recommended for raising is Berkshire. They have a black body and head with white spots in the nose, legs, and tail. Their distinct characteristics are short, upturned nose, dish face, and erect but slightly inclined forward ears. This is how it looks like. The Rock Jersey is another common breed of hogs recommended for racing. They originated from New York, Jersey. They are solid in red color, specifically cherry red. Their ears are medium size and set forward. They produce large litters. This is how it looks like. Another common breeds of hogs recommended for raising is Hampshire. They originated from Hampshire, England. They are easiest breed to identify. Their colors is black with a white belt around the body in the region of the shoulders and front legs. They provide good quality of meat. This is how it looks like. Another common breed of hogs recommended for raising is Poland China. They originated from Ohio. Their color is black except for a small patch of white that usually found on the feet, nose, and end of the tail. They are good feeders, mature early, and produce large litters. 
This is how it looks like. Bacon type is another common breeds of hogs recommended for racing. Among the pigs that belong to this type are the Tamworth and Yorkshire. This is how it looks like. This is a pig diagram and pork chart. Pork is divided into large section called primal cuts, illustrated in the pig diagram. These primal cuts are then broken down further into individual retail cuts, which is what you find at the grocery store. The most tender cuts of pork are from the rib and loin. It's where the expression high on the hog comes from. The most desirable cuts of meat comes from higher up on the animal. By contrast, the shank and shoulder muscles produce the toughest cuts. With proper cooking, even the tougher cuts can be luscious and tender. There are two classifications of bacon type. The first one is Tamworth. They have a long, narrow, straight face and are red in color. This is how it looks like. The second classification of bacon type is Yorkshire. They are pure white and have a medium length face with considerable dish. They are superior in mothering ability and produce large liters. This is how it looks like. 